How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Uh, what do we have? Packages. Should we open those up? Yeah. You see who this box is from? Look at this. Moscow Moto Bags and Accessories. And this is my new Reckless 80. Here we go. Whoa. Very cool. Sticker. Mm. Very important. And there's the mounting directions. This is going to take a bit of building. Look at how cool this stuff is, though. Oh. So durable. Moscow Moto Stinger 22 Dry Bag. Dry Bag Reckless 80. Dry Bag Reckless 80. These are the two side bags. And they have a window so you can see what you've packed in them. Moscow Moto t shirt. You absolutely have to have one of those. There's the heat shield for the muffler and clamp. Two large Molly pouches. And hardware. There's the hardware. 20 liter dry sack for keeping your dirty clothes in. And the Reckless 80 itself. Look at that, it even comes with Loctite. Hey guys, Mason here. Just unpacked my Reckless 80 from Moscow Moto. And the new t-shirt. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. Might as well sport the t-shirt while you're putting together the gear. You don't place an order for this without buying the t-shirt. So, um, the, it's it's incredible. I just took it out of the bag. I can't believe how heavy built it is. As a matter of fact, I think it's going to take a while to kind of break it in. This stuff is serious. So, I am going to go ahead and start to put it together. Right here I have a bag full of all the bits and pieces that I'm going to need. There's Loctite. There's an Allen key. There's T-nuts, washers, and bolts. Panhead bolts. I think that's what they're called. What do they call them? Yeah, well, just M6 bolts. Got the sticker. Came with a fancy book that I'm gonna have a read through here later. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, here's the beaver tail. beaver tail, and the left side, and the right side. Now, on the back of each piece is one of these, and it shows the T-nut in from the bottom. So let's go ahead and start those. One, two, the T-nuts have these little barbs. Not sure if you guys can see that or not. It says, install these two outside bolts loosely, then check the alignment of the other holes before installing and tightening. It also says, make sure legs are mounted under centerpiece. Centerpiece. You can see them down in there. Start one. Oh wait, washer. T-nut washer. And bolt. Just kind of setting those T-nuts in the back by hand. And that's just enough then to get the bolt to start. Okay, so it came with its own Loctite, its own red Loctite. Which looks like a pretty handy little kit for on the bike so I'm going to save that actually and I'm going to use my own red Loctite that's open. I've set them all in there to make sure that they're all going to line up, starting with the two outside ones and dropping the other ones in. And the first one's been Loctite, now I'm just going to move my way down the line, take them back out, Loctite them and put them back in, and tighten them down. On to side two. So there's lots of adjustment points on this. Let's see, I'm going to have to do some playing around. There's 
three points along the back. My understanding is, is that along the bottom here, bottom inside of these, there's another strip, another aluminum strip that you can move the, the adjuster around. Oh, those are nice. Those are actually really nice straps. Look at that. Cam buckles. All right, let's stick with the job at hand. Let's get this done. So there's the five M6 bolts in with the washers, and on the back of the bag is the five T nuts, and they work really nice. As you can see, when they're tightened right down, the bolt heads are flush, and it's got this nice piece of fabric here covering it. All right, let's have a better look at the bags. These are the back pockets. And then you've got the holster. That your dry bag goes into. Down in the bottom is the aluminum bar with two different mounting positions for that strap. You can slide the bar out and move the strap over to this position if that helps for mounting or there is where it comes from stock. Now, this part I saw online. So, flip them over, pull this piece of webbing out, go back through the bottom, through the hole, and repeat for the third. Pull it over. Take this out, go back in through the bottom hole, stick it out. All right, let's try it out. Well, there's the rough mock-up, guys. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to play with this a little more until I get it right where I want it. <laughs> 